This is the problem because I could keep going. I just have so much fun. I'm like, ooh, let's try a little bit of this. Ooh, let's try a little bit of that. And before you know it, I've been here for hours, not editing the video, not doing other things I need to do. I'm definitely not cooking dinner right now and it's almost five o'clock. I'd rather be doing this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I just filmed a video, which hopefully will be up soon, about color correcting and concealers. But I didn't want to make that video too long, so this is the other part of that video and I wanted to test out this. I actually tested this out the other day and I really, really liked it, but I think I prepped my skin with too rich of a moisturizer. I'm loving the rich moisturizers because my skin is so dry. I'm sick with a cold and the, where is it? I've been using the Tatcha Dewy Scrim, Scrim? I've been using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love this one. It just, my skin loves it. Is it better than everybody else's? I'll never be able to say that about a moisturizer or a skincare product because we all have different skin. I gave that to my mom and she used it as a night cream. I use it as my day cream and my night cream. So it really is a personal preference, excuse me. What I found when I prepped my skin with that was that it left my skin feeling pretty moisturized, let's say. I want to say tacky, but that sounds negative. The last time I used it, I definitely had to use a powder and it looked beautiful. I also forgot to shake it. So did I tell you what I'm using? Okay, I'm using the Shiseido Revitalescent Skin Glow Serum Foundation. Is that what it's called? Skin Glow Foundation. I received this as a gift before Christmas and I didn't match the color because I always self tan, but I haven't self tanned in a while and I'm the perfect color for this, or it might be a little bit light, we'll see. So I prep my skin today with something different. What did I prep it with? I definitely have my favorite sunscreen on. This is the Centella Hylou, Hi I'm gonna put it up, I can't see it. I love this sunscreen, it doesn't make my skin irritated, it goes beautifully under makeup, it actually acts as a moisturizer for me. I put this over top of serums though, I love it, it doesn't feel heavy. So good. You know what? I think I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because this is a skincare foundation, that's what I found is that I felt like I had layered too much skincare on my face. This actually matches me perfect. My daughters matched the other two shades that were gifted to me and they use it all the time. And every time I see them, I'm like, wow, your skin looks so good. And it's when they use this makeup, that looks good. While this is sitting, let me tell you what this says. It has a medium coverage with a radiant finish. I would agree. It is buildable. I do know that. Don't you hate that when these keep popping up? Get off of there, I said no thank you. The serum foundation weightlessly glides onto the skin, transforms into a glowing makeup finish that lasts 12 hours, powered by fermented kefir and niacinamide, two prebiotics that fuel the ability to maintain a healthy mi microbiome. I always thought of microbiome inside. Do you have a microbiome on the outside of your skin? Good for all skin types. Hmm, well, I don't know that an oily skin would like this. No oily skin girls that I know would like this. Just saying. It's a little surprising that they said that. What else am I gonna play with? That was my only plan, those two. All the products in this video are gonna be listed in the description box for you, just so you know. And let me know if you have a hard time finding that. I will try to remember to pin it to the top of the comment section. I know some people on their phones have a hard time getting the description box down. They will provide me with a small commission and it helps me so much, but no pressure. I'm just happy you're here. I played with these yesterday. I have four colors. I showed this one in a previous video. Everybody loved it, but I got the lighter colors because they're more my style, but they still have color. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is, I need my glasses. Your Majesty. Oh, I should use a lip liner. I got messy yesterday. Can I get contacts? If you have progressives, can you get contacts? I would love that. I'm using Rosewood, so let me sharpen this. I showed the e.l.f. lip liners the other day. They're really nice, especially for the price, but I wouldn't consider them a long wearing lip liner. My lips are so dry. Yeah, you see? Look at how dry they are. Do I bite my lips and I don't realize? Maybe I have a bad habit and I don't know it. 
don't think I do. Good enough. Now you'll see, my lips look really dry right now, right? But watch the magic. Do I have to shake these first? I don't think so. Let me shake it just in case. Okay, it's one of those lip products that you shouldn't touch your lips together for the first few minutes. It is so hard to do that. I touched my lips together the other day and they were fine, but I'm gonna do it right this time. I am impressed with my application. Okay, don't smush. How's this sitting now? Even with the lighter skin prep, it just feels like I've got a really nice moisturizer on. If you don't like that feeling, you might be able to just put a serum on, your sunscreen, and the foundation. I need to order a new color of this for sure. The taupe in the Urban Decay brow blade is, the pencil is perfect, but the pen itself is a little bit cool for me, but I like it enough that I wanna buy another one. I've been using this the past few days. This is the powder that Fluorasis sent me. I hope I'm saying that right. Flora, Fluorasis? Is it Fluorasis or Fluorasis? I need to hear somebody say it. I used their eyeshadow in a live stream the other day, but I forgot to use the powder. I used the powder yesterday over top of this makeup and I really liked it, but I wish I had set my brows first before I went in with the pencil because I can feel that it's hydrating. Yeah, I want that to stay. I didn't take the little thing off. The packaging is so nice. You get this little puff and, and it's got this little mesh over top. And look at how fine the powder is. Let me tell you a little bit about this too. In my dream world, I will have an assistant that's gonna help me do all the research so I have it all in front of me so I can tell you and not have to do this. This is the Blossom Powder. Hmm, it's got a white top but I'm seeing these colors. Oh yeah, gorgeous peach blossom, okay. Let me put it over top of this brow and I'm just gonna lightly pat it. I'll have to try this powder when I have a less hydrating foundation on. We'll just get in there. It's very, very, very fine. Just took the shine down a little bit. All right, let's go back in with my brow blaze. What I'm finding is when I apply my pencil and I use the Day Slick Brow, which I'll show you in a minute, when I push those hairs up, I can really see where I've missed. And you'll see in a second. I don't know what this hand always does over here. <laughs> uh, it's like my little puppet. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this slick. So I'm just gonna comb it through. I really like the comb a lot. Like there's no doubt I am getting everything. And you can see, do you see how that lifted up and this is all missing right there? I really couldn't see that before because my hair was lying down. These were sent to me by the way. So thank you, Urban Decay. That was very kind, but I will never say that I like something if I don't like it. So now I'm gonna go back with the pen and flick little hair strokes in where I missed. Right? Like, gosh, I've never had, my brows look so good. I think they look real. And I'm gonna do a little, tiny little, just a couple there. This pen, now I can't say for sure, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna dry out fast. Does anyone know how to store these? Should I store it like this? I have it laying down on a drawer. I'm the one that should be telling you, but I don't know everything. I have a wild one, hold on. Get out of there. 
Should I cut that? My brows aren't used to standing at attention. It's like, why am I up here? There, that's better. I showed this on a live the other day. They sent me the big bush brow and I don't really feel like I need it right now, although I do really like it. But I think it looks good just with the two products. And what do we think about this lipstick? It transfers ever so slightly. All of that texture and that dryness that I saw before, I think my lips look plumper because they look moist, where if I were to wear a matte lipstick, it would enhance all of the lines and all the texture. I'm gonna use the LYS blush. This color is in Self Love Shimmer. Is there a shimmer? This doesn't seem shimmery. Not at all. Kind of looks good with my lipstick though. I think today with my look, I'm just gonna use a blush. I'm not gonna contour or bronze or anything. I will up here, but not on my cheek. I wanna show you. I did that the other day and it was really pretty. It was very fresh. We don't always have to warm up our skin. I'm gonna use the Nikki LaRose brush and this is in N15. I never used it for a cream product, but I see her doing that all the time. So I must be able to do it. Normally I use a stiffer dense brush. I'm gonna use a stiffer dense brush. I just feel like I have a bit more control over where it goes. I don't have to scrub it in to find the product on the brush. Oh, I have a hair. How is it when I'm wearing my hair up that I feel a hair on my face? Where's it coming from? I find this a little messy, so I'm gonna show you how I fix it. I'm gonna work a little bit of my, very tiny bit of foundation into my brush, very tiny, like tiny. And then I'm just gonna go around the edges and a little bit in the center, just to make it all seamless. Around the edges and then whatever's left on the center. Clean up a little bit down there. I'm happier with that. You know what? I'm gonna play with this again. I played with it in a live, but I really, I'm disappointed with the quality of video on my live streams. Gotta figure out a better way so that you guys can see me as clear as you can see me now. Drives me crazy. The whole point of being on there is so that you can see what I'm doing. My eyelids look pretty clear. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I saw another palette on their website that I'd really like to try. It had more cool tones. I really prefer cool tones over the warm tones. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. Let me start with this color first because I don't really want a dark look. And... Yeah, I kind of want to keep it fresh looking. These shadows are so, look at that. Really, really pretty. I'm so lazy today. I'm taking the same brush and I'm gonna go into this one and bring it up into the crease. And I'm using the same color in that outer corner. Now, if you don't like shimmer, you won't like these, but they're beautiful. They're elegant. Like they're not shimmer, scary shimmer. They're not that I'm ever scared of shimmer. If I'm wearing makeup, I have something shiny on. It doesn't matter. I am not the all matte girl. What do you guys think of my brows? Do they look too perfect? That sounds funny. From here, they look really good. Can I stop myself from going darker? I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I realized the other day that I never tell you that I have discount codes. I have a discount code for BK Beauty for 10% off. I have a discount code for LEJ Beauty. There, that's good. Just a little something. Just to 
give myself a little eye lift. My eyes are so irritated from washing all the concealer off because I was doing experiments in my last video. I'm gonna wipe the product off my brush and I'm gonna go into the original color and put it underneath my eye just to give it a little shadowing. A hint, just a hint. And I'm gonna go into this lighter color here and make sure that I get the corner. Is that pretty? When I see it on my daughter, I think it looks so pretty. When I see it on other people, I think it does too. But I feel like on me, it kind of looks funny. <laughs> you let me know. A little bit of a curl. What a difference the curls make. If you have naturally curly lashes, don't worry about this. Oh, I had a thought. I had a comment on our live. Was it our live stream with Jody? If you guys don't follow Jody Man uh, Manis, I always say Manis, but it's Manis. If you don't follow her, go follow her. She's so sweet. And we've been doing live streams together. Both of us pulled this out. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. Somebody in my comments told me that she has a really hard time with it clumping on her lashes and her sister or sister-in-law has the same issue. I haven't had that issue. Let me know if you have, I'm curious. But what I did say is maybe, I'm not sure why that would happen to her, but maybe when she pulls it out, maybe to scrape some of the excess off, but I don't really have excess product on mine. The other thing I thought maybe might be happening is the way she's storing it, but I don't think so. so I'm gonna use it again. Let's see if I get any clumps. I'm not having an issue with it. Then again, I don't mind clumps. So what's clumpy to me may not be clumpy to her or what's clumpy to her may not be clumpy to me. I like a thick lash. I don't mind a lot of mascara. Can you guys see me okay? I Let's zoom you in. I really do comb my lashes out a lot though. Like I really run through it. What I love about this is it gives me a nice full lash, but it also comes off in the shower. All I have to do is just put warm water. I don't even need a makeup remover. Oh, so I wanted to tell you, I started seeing an osteopath last week. I've been really struggling with my hip pain and my piriformis pain, which is basically your butt my sit bones, my lower back, everything. And I think already he's helped me, I think. It could be all in my head, but I don't think so. I didn't even know what an osteopath was until he popped up in my email as a new osteopathic doctor in the location that my kids and my husband had gone to before. So I thought, well, this is a sign because I had just gone for um, cortisone shots and it did nothing. It, they really haven't helped me out a lot. They did help me when it was shot in my bursitis, and my hip bursitis, that helped a lot. But that's not really where my main pain is right now. It's kind of like a chiropractor, but he does all the movements really slow and stretches you out. Like he's sweating by the end and there's no cracking. It's just a lot of maneuvers and he does all the work. I have a great feeling. I go two times this week. I'm gonna keep going two times until I go to Mexico because I'm going to see my mother-in-law with my husband. I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta bronzing duo or contour duo. Let's just do this. Oh. Mm. You're on the other side of the camera going, stop. You looked good before. I am tempted. I just want to see what happens. You know, sometimes it just depends on my mood. I posted a video where I liked my natural lip better. I think with this lipstick, I actually like it overdrawn a touch. I don't dislike my natural lip line. It is uneven, but whatever. But I think this looks better. Let me know what you think. I'm not being hard on myself. I'm not trying to change myself. 
but I feel like with a darker color, it looks a little bit better. I hope this helps in some way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It helps me so much. It helps the algorithm know that you like my content. Even if it's just a smiley face or a thumbs up, it helps me and I see you. And I know a few of you have done that and I'm so grateful. If you did like this video, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Share with all your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye.